Hello folks, another day, another experiment. Uh, today's experiment is breaking up the Mark II pipe into two Mark I's, as you can see right here. Uh, the Mark II pipe failed in this particular layout. Uh, it was being, uh, it was flowing top to bottom, so it should not have failed in the manner that it did. The Mark 1s are also doing that, but they are spread out evenly. Uh, like each, the top feeds every other one. So, top feeds like evens, bottom feeds odds, or whichever one it works out to be. So, uh, I'm gonna let this run for about an hour or two, and we'll see what happens. I have some good news. The Mark to uh, breaking up the Mark II belt into or pipe into two separate Mark ones has yielded a positive result. This whole system has been running for just over an hour, and it is functioning the way it's supposed to. None of these are starving. None of those are backed up. It is constantly sending packages up in the manner in which it's supposed to. So the bug that has been plaguing this setup is the Mark II pipe itself. There is something about the Mark II pipe and a pump that's causing this issue. And I don't know what it is, but it will be fun to troubleshoot, so. Needless to say, it is looking great. Now, uh, the next test I will eventually be taking this Mark II pipe and piping it in to verify that in fact this particular layout is not causing it to fail somehow. So, all right. So it's been about an hour and a half since I started this um, test uh, with the Mark II pipe. It's definitely something to do with the pumps and Mark II pipes. Uh, admittedly, I've only done. A Mark 1 pipe on the Mark 2 and that is uh, that's the same as before. Unfortunately we have an autosave here. Well, of course we have an autosave. Uh, so it's definitely looking like uh, there's a bug inside of side of at least the Mark 1 or Mark 2 pipe when it comes to Mark 1 pump. I will be testing out the Mark 2 pump shortly. Okay, folks, I did not record that at the part where this Mark 2 failed, but it, it was failing really badly. Um, it was almost bone dry up top, so basically this right here is just the problem. So I've switched to Mark 1 pipes uh, once again. And I'm going to change the configuration of my, um, of my uh, upstairs to test one more thing before I can uh, lay this to bed. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. And here we have the test, the final test for today. I am joining both sides of this with the uh, side that I know is going to work, with the test that I know is going to produce the maximum amount of energy that I need down below. So I'm basically merging them together. I use a Mark II pipe to form that junction and then I replace them with Mark I's. So that if there is a fragment, it's Mark II, so I don't have to worry about it. It comes down, pumps into here, and then it goes into that side and that side. Um, this configuration is the one that was working earlier today. So we're going to uh, go with that and see how things work out now. So. Okay, so the last test um, of me trying to debug this system is um, taking the packagers, combining them in the intersection, 
and making them flow down. Due to this, I've come to the conclusion that my, the bug that I am seeing is a pump issue. Pumps that are on Mark II um, pipes. Because this is functioning exactly the way it's supposed to. There's no problem, there's no hiccups, no nothing. Um, so, yeah. As you can see, everything's functioning correctly based off the Mark 1 pipes. Now, I could take the time and uh, look at all of this, try to, like, like make this work with like without like uh, without the Mark II uh, our Mark II pipes having a pump on it. However, I don't necessarily think that's beneficial right now. And in order to make it work properly, without to basically take this right here, um, move it out here, move all the blenders on, onto the same floor, so I'd reduce the chance of having to deal with any head lift. So the, uh, the pipes should work, the Mark II pipes should work at that point. Then I would put packagers over there and just kind of lift it up. Promise, like, I already can see that's going to work. Because I've already bugged it here. So, um, my original system is plagued by, uh, rather not plagued, is driven by uh, two Mark II pumps. Or two Mark II pipes that are pumped. So, basically, what's going on here is that down below, I have a water. I have a bunch of water extractors coming in here, being pumped up into this area. Uh, the the uh, water uh, the fuel is then drained into a common basin. I'm saying basin; it's not really a basin, but the idea is that it goes straight down and goes into a fuel center, or the Mark II pipe that then gets pumped up into this area, and um, my original design for this was supposed to use 50 fuel generators, however, I only have 48 here, because it simply can't, it can't feed those extra two extra ones. Like it'll, it'll have four die. The same thing happened with this one. Um, I try to troubleshoot it a little bit more on this one, but yeah, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty eye-opening in terms of what I have to do to make, make that thing work. It's kind of disappointing too. I'll be quite frank about it. So anyway, uh, the conclusion of this is that. There's a bug inside of the Mark II pipes when it comes to pumps. In addition to the other bug that I found in the previous experiment. So that's basically it. Anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate you um, sticking around for this. So I will catch you in another series. Take care.